Hello and welcome to this B1i payment e-learning session. In this session I'll be showing you how you can install B1i payment. iPayment requires you to install an add-on into SAP Business One and you also need to install a server component on the server. You can download the iPayment installation files from this link here. And this is also where you can find the version history and the manual for iPayment. As the system requirements may change over time, please have a look at our installation guide and at our server and component installation guide that are included in the download package. The documents will always have the latest system requirements explained. After downloading the add-on from our website, you are now ready to install the add-on. Here I'm in SAP Business One and I'm now going to install the add-on. First you need to navigate to Administration, Add-ons, Add-on Administration. And from here you can register the add-on. You now need to find the add-on registration file and you can find this file in the download folder that you download from our website. So locate the folder and then you need to install either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version depending on what client version you're running right now. I'm running the 32-bit client so I'm going to install that version. Here I just choose this installer and then I say OK and the add-on will now be uploaded into the SAP database and will be installed. When SAP is done installing the add-on you can now start it. Using the add-on manager. From here you can start iPayment and it will then create the metadata that it needs in the database. It may take a few minutes depending on the speed of the system. And when it's done, it will ask you to restart the client and you're now done with the add-on installation. After installing the add-on, you now need to install the server component. The server component is used for automation and notifications, so it's a mandatory installation that you need to complete on the server. To install the server component, please find the download folder again. Inside the download folder, you will find the folder called Server Component 32-bit. The requirement for the server component is that you need to have the DI API 32-bit installed on the server. For additional requirements, please consult the installation guide. To get started, run the setup.exe and it will open a window where you can choose where to install it and after doing that, you can install it like this. The server component will now be installed on the server and when it's done with the installation a window will open. Now I need to set up the server component using this wizard. First I need to specify the database server, the license server, the database type and then I need to specify how I would like to log into the database. Test the connection and press next. Here I have the option to specify email settings. This email here will be used if something unexpected happens on the server so that you can receive an error email that notifies you that you need to look at the server or change some kind of configuration. So specify a from email and a sender. Press next. And now you need to specify what databases the server component should run in. It's important that you have run the add-on in the database before you set it up in the server component. So if you haven't already installed and uh, started the add-on in the database, you need to do it now. After doing that, you simply go in and then you provide a user that have uh, permissions to actually update sales doors orders, uh, create payments, and so on. You need to input the credentials, and then it will show OK if the login is valid. Now I can press Finish. And then you're actually done with setting up and installing the server component.
You can open the configuration window again by searching for iPayment in the Windows menu. And it will open up this window here, where you can set up the wizard again. You can open the event lock and you can start and stop the iPayment service. If you rerun the wizard, you can add additional databases that you want the server component to look into. Upgrading the add-on and the server component is done in the same way. The add-on you register again to upgrade it and you run the exe file to upgrade the server component. Please note that when upgrading you should always use the same version of the server component and the add-on. And when you upgrade the add-on you also need to upgrade the server component. This concludes this e-learning session. If you need to contact us, please reach out to our sales department at sales at boem-it.com or to our support address support at boem-it.com or you can visit our website to get more information about iPayment and how you get a free trial.